Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. I want to show you another excellent feature Microsoft added to Excel, automatic calculations. Now, it doesn't mean you don't have to write any formulas anymore, but it can figure out some of them for you, and not only simple ones. If you're familiar with Flash Fill, you might think of automatic calculations as taking Flash Fill and kicking it up several notches. And FYI, as of this recording in December 2023, the feature is available only in the web version of Excel. So let's take a look and see how it works. Here I have a typical contact list. You notice that the first column has people's full names, right? So we don't have first name in one column, last name in another column. The entire name is contained in one cell. What I want to do is create a new column. I'm going to insert a new column between A and B. And in this column, I want everybody's initials. First initial, last initial. When I teach Excel to a live audience, this is an exercise I do to show several text functions and the resulting formula is kind of complicated. So let's see if Excel can do the work for us. The first thing I need to do is turn this into a table. Now in the desktop version of Excel, I would press Control T in Windows or Command T on the Mac to create a table. But in a web browser, Control T or Command T will create a new tab in the browser. So Microsoft kind of compromised with the uh, keyboard shortcuts. So the shortcut to create a table in the web version is Control L in Windows or Command L on the Mac. So I press that and it says, oh, hey, do you want to create a table? It recognizes that it has headers, so I click OK. And now we have a table. I'll just scroll up a little bit. Now I can go and insert a column. So I'm going to go and insert one column between A and B. I'm going to call this initials. Now here is where the fun begins. I'm going to type the first set of initials. Okay, nothing happening yet. I'll type the second one. And I kind of waited a little bit. I'm, I'm a pretty fast uh, typist, so I didn't want to go too fast. If I went too fast, I would just kind of steamroll over what it's doing. And you see, it says, hey, do you want to fill cells with this formula? And I can look down, oh yeah, this looks exactly like what I am looking for. So I'm going to click Apply. And now I can see here what that formula is. Now, this is kind of similar to the formula that I teach in my class. A little different, but who cares? It works. It actually did it. So, so far, so good. This is a, kind of a complicated thing to do, and it worked great. Let's do something with numbers. So I'm going to scroll to the right, and in column J, I want to take the credit limit and round them up. You see, these are all numbers ending in all kinds of different things. What I want to do is round up every number to the nearest hundred. Now, you might know of the round up function, but its options aren't very intuitive. Let's see what Excel comes up with. So I'm going to go in here, and I will call this rounded limit, and Excel automatically extends the table. So I'm going to say, okay, this first one is 1,000. This one is also 1,000. And notice, even though it's 509, I'm not going to round it down to 500. I want to round it up to 600. And again, it says, hey, is this what you want? I'm looking through this. This looks pretty good. I'm going to click Apply. And I can see 649 rounds up to 700, 842 rounds up to 9, 7 to 8. And in here, I can see, yes, indeed, it's using the roundup function. If you want to use this feature, but you normally run the desktop version of Excel, like probably 98% of users do, you have to bring your file into the web version first. When you're finished, you'll send the file back to the desktop. Because this runs in your web browser, this feature works just as well whether you're running Windows or Mac. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.